preach unto the mind of God and proclaim what thus, what thus said the Lord. Yes, sir. When we're in the abyss of anxiety, yes. when we're down in the valley of yes. despair, when we're in the pit of danger, yes. when our souls are at stake and our lives are on the line, uh -huh. we need to know that there is a word yes. from the Lord. Yes. When our churches are challenged, yes. when our brethren are battling, well, when our sisters are struggling, yes. when our families are failing, uh -huh. When our debts are mounting, when our economy is waning, when our marriages are deteriorating, yeah. and when our health is declining, yeah. we need a word from the Lord. Yes, you don't need a word from the National Enquirer. You don't need a word from Star, Ebony, and Jet Magazine. Yeah. You don't need a word from USA Today. Yeah. You don't need a word from the Orlando Sentinel. You don't need a word from the Daytona News Journal. You don't need a word from the St. Petersburg Times. You don't need a word from CNN, TBN, TBS, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, HBO, Showtime, or Cinemax. You don't need a word from Oprah. You don't need a word from Dr. Phil. You don't need a word from Montel Williams. You don't need a word from Jerry Springer. You don't need a word from Tavis Smiley. You don't need a word from Michael Bayson. You don't need a word from Al Sharpton. You don't need a word from Tom Joyner. You don't need a word from Sybil Wilkes. And you definitely don't need a word from J. Anthony Brown. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you do need a word from the Lord. Because the eternal establishment of God's word is expressed in Psalms 119 and verse number 89. Forever, O oh Lord, is thy word settled in heaven. God's word is eternally established. It transcends the scope of time. It's not subject to destruction because it's the living effectual expression of God. It's pure. It's perfect. It's proven. It's profitable, yes, it's powerful, yeah. and it is prolific. Yeah. The word of God is settled forever in heaven. Yeah. You can deny it, you can ignore it, you can misunderstand it, yeah. you can misapply it, you can add to it, you can twist it, you can lie about it, you can neglect it, you can hate it, you can misrepresent it, but you show no can't change God's word. Right. Am I right about it? Because it's settled forever in heaven. That's why Paul told Timothy, preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Because the word is able to save the sinner. Because the word is able to correct the crooked. The word is able to condemn the wicked. The word is able to give help to the helpless. Power to the powerless. And hope to the hopeless. Somebody said that God spoke a word of hope up. And his word gave hope to Noah, who got drunk. Somebody said his word gave hope to Abraham, yeah. who lied about his wife. Yeah. Somebody said his word gave hope to Jacob, yeah. who was a deceiver. Somebody said his word gave hope to yeah. Moses, who was a murderer and a liar. Yes, Somebody said his word gave hope to Rahab, who was a harlot, hoochie mama. Yeah. Somebody said his word gave hope to David, whose life could have been an episode on the Jerry Springer show. Yeah. Somebody said his word gave hope to Solomon, yes, who was one of the original players of the Himalaya. Somebody said uh, his word gave hope to Peter, who was a sword swinging, four letter word using, renegade who had thug-like tendency. Yeah. His word can give hope up. And when God speaks, amazing things will happen in your life. Yes, when God speaks, amazing things happen in nature. When God spoke to the water, water congealed on both sides of the Israelites, and they walked across on dry ground. When God spoke to the lions, they became pussycats, and Daniel spent the night in the lion's den. When God spoke to the fire, the heat was turned into a trained air condition unit, as the three Hebrew boys were safe in the furnace. When God spoke to two fish and five barley loaves, they turn a mountaintop church into an all-you-can-eat-fish-fry fellowship. Am I right about it? 
When God speaks, when God speaks, and we listen to his word, it'll change our life. Just ask the woman at the well. The woman at the well will tell you that his word will change your life. Somebody said this woman, she came to the well, and she had what was called living water. Uh Uh-huh. She came to the well speaking with her water pot in her hand. But after she met Jesus, she left at the well what she brought in her hand. And she walked away from the well what she received in her heart. Somebody here tonight needs to leave what you brought to the lectureship and walk away with what you received at the lectureship. You brought troubles, but you need to leave in triumph. You brought burdens, but you need to leave with blessed assurance. You brought in sorrow, but you need with salvation. You brought in jealousy, but you need to leave with some joy. You brought in shame, but you need to leave with a shout. You came in doing a lot of speaking, but you need to leave letting the Bible speak to you and go through you so God can renew you. Thank you. Thank you very much.